so good. But I feel so lazy Yeah, I'm A new sweater Super nice This is from Coterie Founded by my friend Gabe Chin This is like top-notch quality I've never felt a hoodie this thick before I've been loving it Okay, so mom and I were at this place called the Big Way Hot Pot and basically you build your own. There's all the selection over there and then you choose your soup base. They also give you complimentary tea and ice cream during lunchtime. So yeah, pretty excited to try this place. I saw this on my friend's Instagram, Seely Eats. Make sure to check that page out. Are you excited? Very. I, I really like the, the whole build your own hot pot kind of concept. I also noticed that they have like alcoholic drinks. Not a lunchtime vibe, <laughs> but you know, it's an option out there. Oh, sweet. We're digging in. I chose instant noodles, collagen bone broth soup. Hello you guys, um, it's been a while since I kind of did a little chit chat video. So currently I'm in the midst of my final season. I have three finals and my first one is in two days. So these past couple days I've just been hiding out at home, studying a lot, and I've also been recovering from a really bad cold. I got sick because I was not sleeping enough. I was out late all the time. We had grad nights, block party, everything kind of adds up. But on the bright side, I am getting baptized. And so by the time that this video is out, I would have been baptized and it's a really exciting time and an important moment for me. I'll have to make another video talking about that. Yeah, those are just some of the key updates and I'm moving in like three weeks. So I'm just in this weird jumble of stuff. I think that's the best way to put it. Starting now, we're gonna make things right. So I am going to prioritize getting enough rest, start meal prepping, being more mindful of what I'm eating, when I go out to restaurants, cutting down on excessive snacking and sugar, and overall just finding a sustainable routine again. I've really just let go of my past routines, and that's why I'm kind of in a jumble right now. So yeah, that's just kind of like a little introduction to this video. Um, I'll be sharing kind of some of the things that I'll be resetting, mainly regarding my diet and my physical activities. Um, and also just cleaning up like my surroundings and getting ready to move. So many things are about to come up and... Okay, finally cleaned my desk area. That's good. Kona beans. It is currently 11.40. I only got through one problem earlier today. That problem took over an hour to handwrite and then to go over like all the answers. I'm gonna do the two toughest questions now and then take a break and then we're on to chapter 12, accounting for non-for-profits. I don't even know how to like sound fired up about this. I'm trying. Currently, the playlist R&B right now has been a vibe. What can I say? It just, you know, makes, it's like a dance party. I mean, if you can have fun while studying, the day just goes by quick. Okay, anyways. I was supposed to do a live taste test on this, but I just did it on my phone instead. So I tried this flavor for the first time and it was so good. I personally don't like sweet drinks. It has cane sugar. There's really only like four ingredients. Water, brewed coffee leaves, cane sugar, and then lemon juice. But this is like really good alternative. In first year, I drank a lot of yerba mate. 
has like similar purpose where it provides a lot of caffeine, but it is packed with sugar. Definitely my new go-to next to coffee. But you know, I've been drinking so much coffee these days that I've been getting like sores in my mouth because it's a little bit like too acidic. But this on the other hand is not. Um, it's actually very, very light and subtle and it's very refreshing in the mouth. Anyways, I highly recommend this. I'm so excited to try the other flavors. I got a pack actually. Grapefruit and zesty lemon. And then next month they're coming out with tea with four grams of sugar. Even then that's nominal compared to your other drinks. If you wanna get 20% off your purchase, use my code Katrina20. You cannot get this code anywhere else. You know, this is so convenient. You don't need to brew anything. Low in sugar, low in calories, only 10 calories, and there's 35 milligrams of caffeine. I'm talking a lot right now because I just drank like half a can and I'm buzzing. This has been a game changer for me and I'm so excited to continue going through exam season with these babies. It is 2 p.m. right now. I need to get through like five more practice problems and then I can chill out. I'm just taking a little break right now from studying. I got a package from Merit. I was so excited when I saw this. Oh my goodness. Wait, where's my phone? I've completely lost my voice. The packaging's so cute. Um, there's this person's face, you know, saying hello. And then there's a really cute little bag here. The four things that I got the day glow highlighting balm the shade slick tinted lip oil signature lip lightweight lipstick last but not least the queen lash mascara really excited to try these things out Hello, um, I am currently just chilling in my room. It is April 14th. I actually have my first final exam today at 7 p.m., but I'm kind of over studying by now. Keep my mind off of the exam material for at least, you know, three hours and start packing. Vacuum storage bags. Tons of the pump. And a bunch of these bags. Oh, perfect! Um, I was able to fit almost all my pants in here. Um, and I haven't even sealed it with the vacuum yet. Just a little bit of progress. Today was a lovely day. Beautiful weather. And tonight we're having hot pot for dinner. We're waiting for Nathan and Tanya to come. A beautiful weekend. In bar, if you're watching this, hi in bar. She told me that it's best to put on hyaluronic acid when your face is slightly damp. It actually helps absorb the serum better, and she's absolutely right. So I've been doing that. My younger cousin, she also told me there's like this controversy like, oh, you shouldn't put this on your face because you're putting the bacteria back in. But I'm like, whatever. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on and just spread that around. I got a little sampler of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and I, I'm kind of loving it. Like it has a really nice consistency. The skincare routine is done. I just put on some sunscreen. Yes! 
Alright, you want to do an unboxing? Unboxing time! We ordered from r &H. They have like Shai Hennies food. We first got these buns, so good. Dan Dan noodle. And we got Xiu Long Bao. Xiao Long Bao. We bao. Dang, that looks so good. I haven't eaten all day yet. Crazy. It's like what 2 p.m. right now. Mm. How's it? Tastes like you're American. Oh, is it? It might be. Lim Chongi. Hey, Baba. Yeah, it might be lamb. I'm just kidding. Um, oolong honey milk tea, and we ordered the large, but they give us two mediums, which is even better. This actually only came down to about like a dollar fifty because I had a five dollar coupon from downloading the app. Whoa, is it good? So we did half black pearls, half panda pearls or white pearls, and the difference is um, different size. There you go. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Hello, we are currently in the car waiting for Nathan and Tanya. We're gonna go to Zara for Afghan food. Dad is eating this leftover beef sandwich. How's it, Dad? It's quite good. <laughs> Mom took a nap. Super excited. People have been raving about this restaurant for a while, and we're gonna go at 5 p.m. That's the start of their. Oh, hold on. Yeah. So people have been raving about this one. There's happy hour. Really excited to try their dumplings and short ribs. I think those are good, but mom doesn't like lamb. <laughs> Wow, I'm right. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and dressing on top. Ooh, very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Oh, let the, let the whole world know how it tastes. Brussels sprouts? Oh. It's okay, you can tell with the truth. Mm. <laughs> It's a very wow. We have it here. You can change my perception of This is the hummus, right? You spread it. Bolani, potatoes. He's trying. Sauteed some potatoes and then we got some yogurt and a bit of hot sauce. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Oh, look how I'm excited for you too. How's that? Okay. Interesting. Is it flavorful? Uh, um, yeah, there's some, uh, I think there's tarragon in there. Some okay. potato yep. filling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's a good shot. Thank you. I guess it's supposed to be like very heavy on spices. I've never had anything like this before. You were a little skeptical in the beginning. No, no, no. I'm skeptical of this right here. <laughs> so look at it. What do you think? Oh, human beef, very nice. Oh, yeah. So much meat inside. Right? Oh, man. So, yeah. it's packed. The skin looks really nice. Mmm. Second portion. Wow. Oh, man, if I do. Very good. Is it spicy? No. No? no. no? <laughs> One out of ten spiciness. Really? Mm. You can eat spicy chicken ramen. This is nothing. <laughs> oh, you got us another one? It's different rice. Rice with raisins, carrots, and almonds. But it has some lamb mixed with it. So it's mixed wow! With it. Yeah. It's so good. This is delicious. Oh, okay. Oh my god. That's so good. Really? What do you think? I'm trying the lamb shank. Very tender. The kebab is really good. It should be of a market value. Chicken one? Come on. Oh my god. I find the rice very. Uh, Different. No? I'm not sure how I, how I like it or not. These are for Saudi rice. Is there raisin inside? 
Yeah, they put raisin in there. Almond. Is that almond or almond? No, I think it's almonds in there. It's a lot going on. Any final words? I think if you have extra money to spend, this is a good place to go. <laughs> you can find a place for a first date. This is a good so very, first date spot. Yeah, very cool interior design, very cool drinks, and um, excellent food. Very good. Yes. Nathan has a very Thumbs up. Thumbs particular, up. like, high end taste. No, so, so nice. so pretty, pretty, pretty high standards, okay? I'm very picky. Yeah, if he says it's good, then it's good. Drunk or anything, I call him peace.